Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to explain construction and working of permanent magnet moving coil. Figure shows permanent magnet moving coil. Let's move the first construction. Here, calibrated scale, pointer, this pointer attached to the spindle and which moves over a calibrated scale. Here, these two are hair springs, prosper branch are mounted one above and other below to the coil. The springs provides controlling torque. Controlling torques are two types, spring control and gravity control. Here N, yes, these two are U-shaped permanent magnets and between this is a rectangular coil. This rectangular coil we place between the two permanent magnets. Moving coil, this moving coil freely moves between permanent magnets. The coil wound with many turns here, many turns, copper wire and is placed on rectangular aluminium uh, which is pivoted on dual bearings. These two are the bearings. Let's move on the working. We need a force to move the pointer. So that is we need a mechanical force. According to Faraday's law, in DC motor working principle, current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, it experienced to a mechanical force. Now, North Pole south pole these two are permanent magnets and the rectangular coil so this permanent magnets generate a one of the flux and second flux so interaction of two fluxes are the mechanical force now we need a another flux second flux first flux is from the permanent magnets and second flux is from this generated by this coil when coil generates a flux that is when we associate with a supply once we fed a supply to the meter then what happened current flowing through this coil remember this coil is nothing but a conductors now current carrying conductor develops its own flux now this is a second flux and the first flux generated by the north pole and south pole of permanent magnets now interaction of these two fluxes is a mechanical force which is DC motor working principle. That force helps pointer moves from the zero position which is called as a deflecting torque represented TD. When where pointer stops that is here the two springs as I said before the two springs provided is controlling torque. Now deflecting torque is in one one position that is moving from one to another. The exactly the deflecting torque is opposite to the controlling torque. When these two are equal, deflecting torque is equal to the controlling torque, then the pointer stops at some reading. Now the magnitude of force that is mechanical force the magnitude of force is directly proportional to current flowing through this coil if the current flowing through this coil is more then the deflecting torque is more once deflecting torque is more then the reading reading is very high here damping force so we know that damping torque is remove the oscillations from pointer so this damping torque is provided by movement of aluminium former in the magnetic field so regarding to controlling torque deflecting torque and damping torque i explained in my previous lecture if you uh, want to know more and more i'm going to place that link in the description please go th uh, go through and watch that too uh, improve the knowledge on three types of a uh, torques. 
so like this permanent magnet moving coil works and one of the disadvantage of this permanent magnet moving coil is it is only for DC supply not for the AC supply so hope you understand thank you